Jason here. This is a 80 gallon Bradford and White hot water heater that I have to replace after seven years. It was installed May 31st, 2012, and it was leaking and totally rusted out or something in the bottom. So I wanted to take a video of what I have, and once it's the new the new one's in, I'll video the replacement. The challenge is, due to regulation, it's very difficult to get a replacement that's not a hybrid, which I don't want, and the tank I'm putting in is going to be significantly bigger, which means we have to remove we have to move the compression tank over, and that's the main well water line coming in. We have to relocate that so it's not going in between and it gives us enough space. So thanks for watching. I'm going to crop the other video into this in about three hours. The new tank should be installed and I will probably never particularly buy a Bradford and White hot water heater again. I expect them to last a minimum of 10 years, not 7 years. Hey, it's Jason here. This is the installed Marathon by Rheem 75 gallon hot water heater. Um, I had to go with this specific one because of the law in 2015 mandated they must be 98% efficient, which made a lot of the old 80 gallon ones like I had um, hard to come by. I am told, and I have registered this, it has a lifetime warranty. So I'm hoping I get more than seven years out of this like my previous one. The purpose of this video is to show it installed, but specifically the size. It is about four inches wider than the previous unit, which meant I had to move the compression tank to my well, which was kind of a pain because we had to run a whole new line all the way in from the back because previously, it came dead center of the wall, didn't give the tank enough room. You notice this new Marathon tank, it's like a big plastic thermo jug. It's very light to get out and relatively the uh, tech had it installed pretty quickly. So this gives you an idea. I have the drip pan installed, this is a 75 gallon. I've had no issues so far. We have a three bathroom, two full bath, along with a soaking tub, and we've had no issues with the Rheem Marathon thus far. So I will keep an eye on this, hopefully the maintenance, um, and hopefully it will last significantly longer than the previous one. But this is the Rheem Marathon 75 gallon hot water heater. <clears throat> it is on a well. I do not have a valve that is why the compression tank that used to be on the top is gone because it turns out i didn't really need that because i don't have one of the valves that might require it i hope this video is helpful so you can get a sense of the size and so far i'm pretty pleased with it thanks for watching